Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is grade three, module two. Write your name first. And our first question is, how much liquid is in each container? The first one is right here at the five liter mark. So we're gonna write five liters. That's how you write it. And now container two. It's right at the two liter mark, so it's two, two liters. That's an R. Uh, container three, six liter mark, right up here. So it's six liters. And this fourth one is at the one liter mark, so it's one one liter. Now this is just practice of getting you to recognize the word liter and how to spell it. So write it out for those four containers. Number two. John pours the contents of container one and container three above into an empty bucket. How much liquid is in the bucket after he pours the liquid? So Container one is that one there, and container three is that one there, and he's going to combine the contents. He's going to pour them both into the same bu empty bucket. So we're just going to add the two together. All right, so it would be five if you want to have a little number bond here just so we can RDW this as we should. We have, make sure we know we're adding and subtracting. We have container one, which was five liters, and container three, which was six liters. And should figure that five plus six is 11. So here's our number sentence. Five plus six equals 11. The bucket has eleven liters of now it doesn't say whether it's water or apple juice or anything else, it just says it's liquid, right? Up here, it just says liquid, so of liquid L I Q U I D number three estimate the amount of liquid in each container to the nearest liter so the ones at the top were like right on the lines right right on the lines so you could just look at them and see what they were but these are going to be in between somewhere so we're going to estimate so we're going to say it's about five or about four or about two or whatever it's closest to so this first one here it's closest to the five liter mark so we're going to call it five liters and we could call it five or four but looking at the two of them it's closer to five so we're going to call this five five liters and this one is in between the one and the two but it's a lot closer to the two than the one so we're going to call it two liters And this one is right in the middle between the three and the four. And when they're right in the middle, right exactly in the middle, we call it the higher, the higher number. So it's going to be four liters. And this one looks like it's a little bit closer to the two liter mark than the three liter mark. So we're going to call this one two liters. And now, Kristen is comparing the capacity of gas tanks in different size cars. Use the chart below to answer the question. So here's the chart they're talking about. Sometimes this is called a chart. Sometimes it's called a table. 
there is a difference, but sometimes they are the same, and this time it doesn't matter. This is the chart. So it tells what different size cars, large, medium, and small size cars, and what the capacity in liters, how many liters of gasoline each size car will hold, or a gas tank will hold. So question A. Label the number line to show the capacity of each gas tank. So I'm going to have to zoom out for this one so you can see the whole number line. Uh, so the medium has already been done. That's 57 and it's right here. It's already plotted, right? So we're just going to plot points right on the line. The large, and we got to label them too, right? Large is 74. So 74 liters is going to be between the 70 and the 80. And we'll just count these little tick marks here. One, two, three, four. That's where the 74 is. And I'll label this large. And that was large. And small is 42. So that's going to be two more than 40. 41, 42. Small. Which car's gas tank has the greatest capacity? Well, which one holds the most? Capacity is how much how much gasoline you can put into the tank and how much it will hold. For any container, the capacity is how much you know how much you can fit inside it. So uh, which one holds the most gasoline, the most liters of gasoline? It's the large. The large car holds the most. Now notice it doesn't ask you what how much is the greatest capacity. It asks which car's gas tank has the greatest capacity. So the answer is going to be the large car has the greatest capacity. The Uh, that's B. Which car's C is a, which car's gas tank has the smallest capacity? Well, that's going to be the the small car. Small cars tank. Most properly, I suppose, you should say the tank. It's not the car that has the most capacity. It's the gas tank that has the most capacity. Small car's tank. It's an N. Has the smallest. Capacity. And then we have... A couple more questions here. Kristen's car. So Kristen, was she the one? Oh yeah, she's the one who's been comparing the different ga the gas tanks in different size cars. So this is still the same girl who's doing the gas tank experiment here. Her car has a gas tank capacity of about 60. Which car from the chart has about the same capacity as Kristen's car? So hers is about 60. It means it's not exactly 60. So which one is the closest to 60? So here's the 60. That's her car is around that 60 right there. So which one's the closest? Right here. It's the medium car. So which car is the car is about the same. Actually, it should be the medium car's gas tank has about the same capacity. Is about the same. 
capacity tank. It should be has, not is, right? Has about the same capacity tank. And then finally use the number line to find how many more liters the large car's tank holds than the small car's tank. So we could do, we could use subtraction and a number bond or a tape diagram down here, but it says to use the number line. So we're going to use the number line and we're going to use the number line to count up from small, the small tank to the large. So the small here may as well label this at 42. And the large I'm labeling at 74. So for the 42, we could just do this. We could, we could either go by tens, or the, I think the easiest thing to do would be to go eight. There's eight, right? Because that's two, and eight more should get us to the next ten. Because eight and two make ten, and then we can go tens at a time. Mm -hmm. There's a 10, there's a 10, and then at 70, and now we just need four more. And then, so down here, I can say eight plus 10 plus 10 plus, that last one was four equals, and we can see we got two tens here, that's 20, and the eight and the four is 12. So that's, that's uh, 10, 20, 32. The uh, the large car Large car's tank holds 32 liters more. <laughs>